Classics never die. In fact, they even get better with time. Kaya naman, anytime you have something old school, vintage, iba talaga yung arrive niyan. And that's exactly the vibe ng motorcycle feature that we have for the day. This is the Yamaha Mio Fazio. One way to describe the looks, vintage. Pero himay natin yung iba't ibang aspeto pa ng design ng motor na to. Over here at the front, plain looking. Wala itong masyadong mga laudika. Sinahayaan niya yung forma niya ang mag-speak dun sa pinaka-design niya. We have an oval-shaped headlights. LED na yan, mga brother. And then over here, we have one strip of black na may Yamaha and Fazio branding para to give that little accent. And then yung turn signals yan, bulb type, pero oval shape pa rin yan. And then once we get to dito sa ating front fender, may kita mo malaki yung front fender nito. Katulad talaga ng mga old school scooters that we had back in the days. Ngayon, over to the side, we have this forward leaning angle pagdating dito sa harap. Common yan pagdating sa mga classic scooters na meron tayo. Flat forward, very plain. At saka pagdating dito sa pinaka body niya, wala itong mga special decals just like what we've mentioned earlier. But we just have the Fazio branding. I like how this fairing extends all the way at the back. Kasi yan yung bulkiness na nagdadaga dun sa scooter. Again, pays homage dun sa mga designs sa mga naunang scooters. For the seats, okay siya. Flat seat siya. Pero ako, if I would really just take it to the next level ng pagka-vintage nito, papalitan ko to ng something brown and leather. Para talagang lumang-lumang vintage ang dating ng motor na to. And then over here, ayan, makita natin buong-buo yung grab bar na ito. So you can choose to change to this with a top box na old school looking or okay na rin to. It goes well with the accent dito sa motor natin. Pagdating naman sa likod, what we have are oval shape themed pa rin. So makita natin pati yung taillights natin which is LED na oval shape pa rin siya. And both of our turn signals dito, oval shape pa rin. So makita mo yung buong theme ng motor, it, it's synced. It works well, walang alanganin, and then yung accent na meron tayo sa harap, it flows all the way dito sa likod. And meron na naman tayong black accent dito with the subtle Yamaha branding. So overall design, it's not flashy. Simple lang siya, pero ang lakas ng dating. Kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo, iba yung vintage na looks. So, this is definitely something to go for. Definitely head turner pagdating sa kalsada. Pagdating naman dito sa bandang taas, we have these side mirrors. I mean, okay lang, but this can definitely be improved. Kung ako lang, gagawin ko na lang itong round or oval pa rin para it goes with the overall theme ng mga shapes ng motor na to. And eh, this can definitely improve kasi medyo flimsy yung pagkaka-attach ng side mirrors natin dito. Okay ba yung forma? Tingnan naman natin yung ibubuga ng makina. For the engine, what we have is 125cc single overhead cam. 2-valve, 4-stroke, air-cooled, at meron na rin tong Blue Core Hybrid Engine. Mamaya ipapagiwanan ko sa inyo, ano nga ba yung hybrid engine na yan? This motorcycle can generate 8.3 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. At yung torque naman yan, nasa mga 9.9 Newton meters of torque at 5,000 RPM. Ngayon, balik tayo dito sa Blue Core Hybrid Engine. What it does is, binibigyan niya ng power assist itong motor natin for the first 3 seconds, especially coming from stop. Ngayon, ang mangyayari niyan, yung dating torque natin na 9.9 newton meters, it now increases to 10.6 newton meters worth of torque. Kaya, ang arangkada mo, mas mararamdaman mo, and it just gives you a smoother acceleration overall. So, I've been using this motorcycle sa city ride, open roads, daily commute, from and going to work. Ang masasabi ko lang dito is... For a vintage-looking motorcycle, 
hindi ka naman magpapahagi pagdating sa arangkada. When I do the overtaking and yung mga kailangan ko ng initial punch and acceleration, it delivers. When you need to speed up at med- medyo nakabuelo na ako, it also delivers and very minimal or to none yung engine vibration nito. So enjoy talaga gamitin. So overall, again, for a 125cc classic looking scooter, hindi ka mabibitin sa power ng makina nito. Pagdating naman sa brakes, what we have at the rear is drum brake and then single disc brake naman in front. We don't have ABS for this motorcycle, pero surprisingly good ang performance ng brakes na ito. Ito, tingnan natin. So, base sa nakita nyo at base sa paggamit ko, minimal lang yung pag-skid nito. Actually, almost none. Kahit biglain ko yung paggamit ng drum brake, dependable pa rin siya. For the disc brake, it gives you better stopping power. It's just all about you balancing the front and the rear drum brake for the optimal braking capability ng motor na to. When it comes to the tires, parehas tubeless yung gulong natin nito at parehas din yung sukat nyan at 110 70 by 12. Pagdating naman sa suspension, what we have in front is telescopic fork habang unit swing shocks naman sa likod. Pagdating naman sa performance ng gulong at suspension na ito, superb when it comes to handling. Very impressed ako. Yung roma niya makapit kahit na even, you know, you're doing those twists and turns and yung mga sudden movements mo at sudden angle mo. Okay, yung performance na ito. So very impressed kahit na stock tire siya. Pagdating naman sa suspension, this is good for city ride. Uh, it can improve a little bit. Pwede kang mag-upgrade ng suspension na ito, especially kung medyo may mga minor na lubak kang dadaanan. But siguro, that's just for my weight. But overall, it will give you that handling and comfort level na hinahanap mo with a little bit of room to improve on. When it comes to the features, ito yung mga items na meron tayo sa motor na ito. First, we have the LCD digital panel na. So, it houses all the basic information that we would need. Siyempre, yung gas gauge, speedometer, odometer. One thing that I like about this is meron itong built-in na voltmeter. Importante yan, especially wala namang kickstart tong motor na to. And it has an assist indicator, gaya nang napag-usapan natin about the power assist that the blue core hybrid engine gives you. And it also has that uh, notification na nakakonect yan sa Y-Connect. Speaking of, This motorcycle also has that Y-Connect version. At kung nagtatanong kayo kung ano yung Y-Connect, ito, pinagiwanag na natin yung video na yan. It just basically connects your motorcycle to your phone and just gives you that information about maintenance schedule, gas mileage, uh, parking location, and all that information that you can definitely use. Is it something that's needed? Ikaw na mga kapagsabi nun. Over here at the front, we have an open pocket right here. Siguro, you can put a solo mineral bot- bottle water dyan. And then we also have a closed pocket naman dito. That also houses a USB charging port. And dahil may gulay board, paborito natin yung mga Pilipino, you also get two utility hooks. Isa dito sa harap, and then isa rin naman dito sa baba ng seats. Ang maganda sa utility hooks na to is that meron siyang locking mechanism. So in case maglagay ka ng mga grocery dyan, pinamagayang mo, even yung bag mo, secured na hindi siya mag-fall off kasi nga, you have this locks right here. Pagdating naman sa seat compartment, what we have is 17.8 liter worth of space. So, um, it, it, won't, uh, it won't fit a half-face helmet. Siguro yung iba na magita lang talaga. But what I have right now is my camera, my gloves, yung ibang mga damit ko, ibang mga paraphernalia gadgets, my wallet, and pagdating naman sa ating fuel tank, it houses 5.1 liters of fuel. So, city ride, kahit mapalong ride, pwede na rin yan. Respectable enough for a 125cc scooter. Pagdating naman sa riding position at overall ergonomics ng motor, you can use me as a reference, mga brother. I am 5'10 in height. So, ito, sakin natin para mas matansya nyo. So, kita nyo, lapat na lapat yung aking paa. 
sa ground. The seat height for this one is just 750 millimeters. So, napakababa. Definitely Pinoy friendly even for shorter in height. Lalo lalo na sa mga beginner riders, you will be able to support yourself pagdating dito sa motor na to. Okay siya kasi you have a large floorboard here. Spacious and again, medyo ang size ng paako ay 510. So, yan. You can uh, medyo matatansya nyo na kung gano'ng kalaki yung space ng paa nyo. The handlebars are geared towards you. Mas malapit sa'yo. So, pagdating naman sa comfort when it comes to riding, it just gives you yung position na relax at saka upright riding position. And maraming nagtatanong sa akin eh, for my height, sasabit nga daw ba yung manibela nito if I maximize yung pag-turn ko. So, eto, tingnan natin. Medyo slight, sasabit dun sa hita ko, but you can avoid it naman. Hindi naman yung sobrang obstruction and it's not like you will be doing this type of extreme turn every now and then. So, for my height and up, medyo sabit lang siyang konti. For short turn height, sigurado ko, clear na clear naman yan. Ang maganda na ito, yung pillion seat natin or yung angkasan, malapad din siya. So, it just gives your passenger that comfort as well together with the pillion step right here. So, yan yung ating uh, overall riding position pagdating dito kay Fazio. So, there you have it, mga brother. This is our motorcycle feature for the day. The Yamaha Mio Fazio. So, ano sa tingin nyo? Ito nga ba ang motor para sa inyo? I-comment nyo yan at pag-usapan natin. And syempre, don't forget to follow lahat ng mga social media channels natin katulad ng YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Take our next video, mga brad! Salute!